Welcome in Alec Lasley from the Hoosier.com. How's it going, brother? Good. How are you guys doing? Cannot complain. Dustin Shooting from Outsider.com with us as always. And I'm Joe Coyle. Yesterday, IU Basketball Media Days, Alec. A um, lot to unpack, uh, mainly just because we got to talk to so many people at once. Uh, all the players, uh, we heard from the coaches. Um, and expect, I just said a minute ago, expectations seem to be the word of the day. Uh, that word has returned. There are always expectations for Indiana basketball, but sometimes they were unwarranted in the last few years. But now it's back to the point to where they're real. Uh, and they're going to have to face that. And that's one of the things that uh, Mike Woodson talked about yesterday is they are one of the favorites to win the Big Ten championship. Can't run from it. Won't run from it. Looking forward to the challenge. Yeah, and I think it came across as not not so much of a, a cockiness, right, but just a very confident uh, tone that not only Mike Woodson had, but it trickled down to Ray Thompson and Trace Jackson Davis. And I think uh, not to say that Trace Jackson Davis and Ray Thompson never had that kind of confidence, uh, but it was more like, like you said, and like everyone's kind of said, those expectations are real. It's not kind of blindly throwing those expectations uh, maybe that a lot of people had last year. Um, you, you look at the roster, you look at now what Mike Woodson was able to do, and those expectations become reality. And, and that's the thing that I think uh, with this team now, they, they not only expect that, but they actually see a path to getting to, to kind of cross some of those goals off. And I don't think they saw that previously. Um, and so they come across a lot more confident in their abilities, but not only their abilities, but their ability to uh, kind of help each other out in, in every you know sort of way, whether it be the, the upperclassmen helping the, the underclassmen or uh, you know, some leaders doing small things that they typically wouldn't do. I, I, you know, we, we heard a lot about Xavier Johnson and, you know, the, the path that he's had over the last couple of months. Um, Mike Woodson talked a lot about his ability to lead now and, and what this summer has done for his growth. And Trace Jackson Davis said the exact same thing as well. Just where he's come from the end of last season uh, to now, it has been kind of uh, astronomical. But but when you think about the growth that Xavier Johnson's had from uh, this point last year to, to where he's at now, obviously a lot of ups and downs. But, um, you know, I think he's now fully starting to become that extra leader that Indiana needed in the backcourt. So everything just kind of seems to be falling uh, together at the at the right time going into the season. Um, and that's what contributes to a lot of that confidence as well. And I think, Alec, one of, some of the things I took away from that was there's obviously an increased uh, expectation level heading into this season because of what Indiana returns, because of what they bring in. But at the same time, I felt like Mike Woodson was almost relieving some of the pressure from Trace Jackson Davis and Race Thompson. He made a comment, you know, uh, when it came to three-point shooting, we got some guys that can knock that down. And specifically, what was interesting to me is he said, you know, Race was in a position before me where he was not allowed to shoot those shots. Um, now he's maybe not got the gr the full green light, but maybe like a caution yellow, you know. Um, Trace Jackson Davis, he said he doesn't have to be a threat to hit a three-point shot. Uh, if he can hit something from 15, you know, 15 to 17 feet, he becomes a really dangerous weapon. I mean, it feels like there's a lot more trust in this team now that Mike Woodson's got a full year under his belt, he's seen his players, he knows what they're capable of. And then maybe we're starting to see some of that development that we've we've yearned for uh, uh, that we never really got under the previous coaching regime. I mean, do you kind of get that there's there's a confidence there? And while there's expectations, yes, he's taken some of the pressure off those players, like just go out and play basketball? Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think now, you know, coaches can say that all the time, but uh, being able to actually see, I think, throughout last year, and, and Mike Woodson has now become such a, a player's coach. Um, having that that background of a season uh, underneath him has just kind of, you know, emphasized that a little bit more. Um, I don't think anything's fully changed in, in what Mike Woodson's been trying to say. I think the the players just have uh, not to say that they were not bought in last year, uh, but uh, it, you know, it takes it takes a lot longer than a couple of months to to fully be able to trust your abilities even if the coaches and players are, are saying that. And so I, I think uh, a lot of that confidence is because of just hearing that over and over and over again. Um, and that, that message becoming uh, very consistent 
from from start to finish uh, in the last year and a half from Mike Woodson. And, you know, you, you don't you don't get that a lot, um, especially going through ups and downs that, that Indiana had last year, especially, you know, in, in a program like Indiana, where there's a lot of expectations each and every year. Uh, you don't hear that consistent messaging from players and coaches for that long. It seems like at least over the last decade for Indiana. Uh, so having that from from Mike Woodson, I think, just gave the players even more confidence to to come into this year and, and feel uh, fully ready in their abilities, um, but also know that they can stretch their game a little bit more, and it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt the team at all. So uh, yeah, I think the 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 one interesting part was uh, the the fifteen to seventeen foot comment yeah. that, that Mike Woodson had because you know Trace Jackson Davis is never going to be a three point shooter. Right. Uh, I would be shocked if he takes more than five threes all year. That's just not, that's not who he is. It's not what's going to make Indiana uh, really, really good and, and hit their, their ceiling this year. But it is that, that free throw line extended jumper that he's had multiple times throughout his career that he either has taken and missed or just has not even looked at the basket for. So right. that's, that's the key uh, evolution in his game. And to, to hear Mike Woodson say that, because everyone's been talking about three point shooting, three point shooting with race Thompson and trace Jackson Davis, but to, to hear him actually say that the 15 to 17 footer is, is probably what's going to be more effective just shows you that, Hey, it, it's not just about shooting threes for, uh, for trace Jackson Davis and being out on the perimeter. It's just expanding his game and expanding his range um, from three to five feet to, to 15 to 17. Um, and at least keeping the defense honest, uh, doesn't have to make all those, but it, you know, he needs to take those, uh, in, in order to, to open up the offense to what it could be. That Jim's muted while I was trying to talk. <laughs> so. <laughs> I, I talked to like six guys yesterday. I didn't talk to everybody because it was tough. And I'll get I'll talk to I'll talk to Race and Trace at Big Ten Media Days in Minneapolis in a couple of weeks. But uh, the ones that I talked to, they are already bought in. I did talk to all four freshmen, and uh, I mentioned earlier Jalen Huchifino's maturity just oozes out. Um, you can tell. He will be a leader on the floor, but I don't think it's something he's going to push to try because he knows that you've got Xavier and Trace, but he's smart enough and has the basketball IQ that he could be a leader on that floor now, I really believe. Um, but I think his, his play is going to be the biggest difference on this team this year without question. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you look at obviously his ability to, to play off the ball and on the ball and, and provide some of that stability in the backcourt with Xavier Johnson. Um, but, you know, a lot of the talk has now shifted from having Jalen Huchifino for two years to maybe three years to he, he could theoretically be a one and done. Um, the, the ability that he's shown from June up until now to, to be a major, uh, major part of this team and, and this this program moving forward, but that that may only last a year. And, and I think it was Trace Jackson Davis who said it yesterday in uh, the roundtables as well that uh, he may not need more than one year at, at Indiana. Uh, speaking of uh, Hochefino, so you know the the expectations are, are there. Mike Woodson talked about it too. Obviously, not needing and not wanting to put all those expectations on freshmen, uh, especially with all the veterans that this team does have um, at key positions, but he also notices at the same time that in order for Indiana to get to where they want to be, it, it is going to be revolving around what Jalen Huchifino can bring to, to that backcourt and to the roster uh, because that was a position and a skill set that Indiana did not have last year um, and really has not had with the, the two ball handlers on the floor at the same time for um, probably going back until the, you know, the, the Yogi Jordan hole year, Jordan holes year, um, you know, a decade ago. So, uh, outside of outside of Jalen Huchifino, you, you look at what those freshmen can bring, and, and we'll have a piece up um, on the site th this weekend about it because just the competitive nature that they bring, I don't think a freshman class at Indiana has had that in, in some time. And Mike Woodson talked about uh, the first week or two of, uh, of summer practice when – that unit was losing game after game and, and losing scrimmage after scrimmage and, and was very defeated in, in what they were doing. And 
obviously, you know, you, you want you want those guys to, to feel that. But at the same time, you need to know that, you know, you're, you're going up against guys who have been like a race Thompson. who has been in college for six years. These, these are grown men at this point. Um, but how that's shifted now in the last month where they're going head to head with those upperclassmen and beating them at times. And I think that just shows you uh, going back to our point that we've made uh, pretty much since they signed this class, how deep and how talented this this roster is. Uh, for Indiana from from top to bottom, uh, having potential five stars come off the bench, um, having high four stars and, and a guy like a, a Tamar Bates, who was uh, one of the best kind of late signings um, uh, of the entire 2022 or 2021 class of, of last year. And, and you look at you look at he didn't really have the season that he had uh, that, that a lot of people thought he would have last year, but uh, comes into this year and, and may not even start again, but has been put on all these national lists of potential breakout players and guys who a lot of people are expecting to take that next step. Um, and I think that just shows, uh, you know, the, the talent on the roster, especially when you go to Indiana now officially having a, uh, a pro day um, with all those expectations and, and all the skills uh, to, to showcase. So, uh, you know, Indiana has kind of all those boxes checked off. Now it's just about, you know, obviously putting that together on the floor. And and another thing that we uh, that he talked about, and you look at the expectations, and one of the things I was really interested in, in hearing him say was, if you don't believe in in winning Big Ten championships and winning national championships, if you're afraid of that, then you're at the wrong place. We talk about the talent that Indiana brought in with this recruiting class, but in, in my head, after hearing that, Mike Woodson's also looking for a mentality. We talked earlier, Jim Jim said earlier in this show. Jalen Hood Shafino is a kid that's very cool, very calm, very poised. Um, and you've probably looked down the, the list of the freshmen they brought in, and you could probably use those terms to describe all of them. Uh, I'm just it, it was just very interesting that I think that, yeah, you want to get the best players, but also it sounds like Mike Woodson, when he's signing players, wants to look for a specific mindset. He wants kids that are confident, um, ambitious, want to win. Uh, that was just a, another takeaway for me from, from his uh, uh, talking with the media yesterday. Yeah, absolutely. And, he, you know, you even look at the, the class of 2023, guys like Gabe Cups and Ja'Kai Newton, uh, really physical style of players who uh, not only do that on the court, but have that kind of physical, uh, physical mindset um, and competitive nature. And, you know, a lot of these guys have chips on their shoulder, even if they are five stars like Jalen Huchifino or Malik Renault, right? Maybe guys who aren't thought about as true one and dones and, and maybe that's you know what what they wish they were thought of maybe that's not even the the right mindset that they that they were kind of looking for but I think a, a lot of people uh even with this class kind of look at you know the the four players top to bottom and uh, nationally that is and, and maybe kind of even uh underrates them and so I think you know even a guy like CJ Gunn guy like Caleb Banks who probably no one really knows nationally um, really, really talented players who who are coming to, to Indiana to not just sniff minutes. They're they're coming right. to uh, play major roles, whether that be this year, next year. They're they're coming to do it a lot sooner than uh, what typical freshmen uh, in their standing probably uh, come to do. And that just shows you back to your point the the mindset that, that Mike Woodson's going after, and that's going to help. Uh, this team a lot more than just a talented player because you you need that stability and that competitiveness to to raise the level of others and that's what Indian has not had uh, again for for the last five six seven years and and for them also to say or for him to say we need these guys to come in we need them to be contributors at the same time if I only put you in for two minutes it better be the best two minutes you you ever play because if it if you don't you're not playing hard. You're not making contributions to this team. I may not look your direction again next time. I mean, it's he knows that the freshmen need to come in and, and play well for Indiana to have a chance to be where the expectations are. But at the same time, he's not going to play him just to play him. Yeah, absolutely. And, and they they have, I would say, very outside of Jalen Huchifino, they they have very specific roles of of what they would what they would be coming into. Uh, to contribute for and that that goes back to the point even oh my th this is what the NBA does um, and, and what the NBA has kind of made their uh, their trademark off of of having you know obviously a, a team of players but very specific 
uh, areas of, of, of skill sets. And that's what Mike Woodson's trying to build here. And if you're not able to contribute that very specific skill set, whether that be shooting, defense, playmaking, whatever that may be, um, one, if you're not bought into that role, and, and two, if you're not able to contribute that role, then he sees no need for you on the floor, obviously. And uh, that just goes back to obviously needing to stay prepared. Uh, but he does a, a very, very good job of, of keeping these players engaged uh, throughout the season, uh, obviously in the, the the short time that he's been on the sidelines of if he needs someone, they, they typically uh, do step up in that moment. Um, now, last year, it just didn't happen consistently enough, uh, but that, that goes back to uh, the talent level uh, last year to this year and the significant upgrades at multiple positions that Indiana's made. 